baby. I'm sure both these teams aren't as happy as I am after both suffered opening round losses, but nevertheless, it's early in the season. You're right there, partner. This time, it's just as much about bonding as it is about winning, but there's still a big game to play tonight between the Syracuse Orange and the Marquette Golden Eagles. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like a David versus Goliath, baby, but you never know. Could be upset City if they protect the basketball. You know what? I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Golden Eagles should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Secondly, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep him off the block, push him away from the low box, and force him to shoot jump shots. Finally, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Gave it up. He's got a nice shot fake. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Inside. For two. Perfectly executed. That's a breakdown. That'll drive a coach bananas. That'll be to lose your hair. the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Erickson goes to the line for the first time. Good. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Danielson is fired up right now emotional. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Perfectly executed. Bed the low block. He does the sweet fake shot. Here's the toss back out for the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He attempts the three, way off target. Inside, the power forward gets the ball. Trying to pack it inside. Time to pick up the defense here now. On the dribble, gives it up. The shooting guard takes the pass. From right at the circle, Arnold was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Is this defense ever quick to recover? It's called conditioning, Brad. <laughs> Tries for two. Doesn't go. On the outside, the small forward gets the pass. Here's a double team. The ball goes out of play. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. 
taken away. Nick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Got a wide open look. For the bucket, Owens. He isn't getting much help from his teammates, but he is managing to get things done himself. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Gets it back out. The power forward with the ball. With a great block. Sinks the shot. He'll regroup the offense. The small forward takes the feed. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work it back to the outside. He pump fakes. With anticipation defensively. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Goes up for two. Buried it. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He looks for the bomb. It's good. <laughs> Only the replay can do this justice. the ball great pressure there fantastic ball pressure the pressure got to the ball makes the block the ball goes out of bounds okay dick some people were predicting this the players are starting to taunt one another Watch out, the five-second count is getting close, Brad. For two, and in and out. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Takes the shot. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Stop and pop. Knocks it down. Turns it over. And 
Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Another turnover. You're not talking apple turnovers either. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Looking for a good shot. Well, I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Rod. <laughs> what a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They're working around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. Goes in. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. Now they'll bring it up. They've left him completely alone. It sticks. Way out on. He blocks the shot. It's a block party out there. The frustration right there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. The lane. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Great shot. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. Thanks, Aaron. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. For two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Inside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. A whistle and a foul. And the coach not happy in the sideline. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs>
Two shots. First one is no good. Hits the second. Look out. Defender is smacked by that screen. Tries to get the D to bite. Got the shot if he wants it. They work the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Movement, get that good spacing. He gets it to fall. <laughs> On the inside for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Moving it around the perimeter. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Look at that spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Three balls paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. Well, their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Nobody getting back, Brad. Where's the defense? Danielson draws the personal. Nicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. The Golden Eagles are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Gets his first. That's a seven-zip run. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They scored eight in a row. Steals a pass. Long down court pass. Trying to draw some contact. That's a 10-0 run. This time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The center in the paint. Makes the shot. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. With the fake on the outside, he takes a three. He nails the shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He, he threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. 
you end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Solid work getting back on D. There they come with a double team to stop it. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes it. Shoots it. Drains the shot. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Working around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Buried it. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. Looks to be down emotionally. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. He attempts the trifecta. He hits it. On the inside, there's a double team waiting there. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Side. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Oh, what a strip, Red. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. Perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby. to take it away. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Ball comes back out from the post. I'll tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He goes for three. He shows the sweet touch. Shot clock is dead. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. 
He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. At halftime, the Golden Eagles are down by eight. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long-distance bomb. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Marquette allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the Rock, you're not going to win many games. This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well, the crowd begins to cheer them on, and the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronted. On the dribble, gives it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Orange are up by 12. Picks off the lazy pass. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He can't get the bucket to fall. Banks receives the ball. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. They scored seven in a row. Picked off. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart for the deuce. Goes. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Buchanan receives the pass, kicks it out. The small forward handles the feed. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He buries it. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. They work the perimeter, looking for a good shot. Schmidt handles the pass. He nails the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Poor decision there to shoot that three. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Picked out of the air. From the top of the key, gets it to go. And a momentary look from three-point land. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. 
If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Takes away the pass. Here they come now on a turnover. The kick out, Buchanan makes a great move to draw the foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Hits the second. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen ball. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. There's the trap. Fake. He throws up the shot. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Looks at a three. He hits the shot. For the bucket. Buries it. Takes away the pass. From left to the circle. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Let them give him a try, Brian. If only my knees weren't aching. There's a double team waiting there. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Basic. Gave it up. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. And right in the circle. Got it. Entry pass in the paint. Erickson pounded on his way up. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. He hits the first shot. Missed it. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Great defense. Up and inside. On the inside. Here's a double team. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach.
He'll visit the charity strike. No doubt about it. Second shot, good. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Jumped in front to take it away. Trying to draw the foul. Up and in. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. about that one. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He throws it up from downtown. Nice shot. the dribble gives it up here they come with a double team to stop it he takes it away they're off into transition he hammers it home you can almost see that coming they were a little bit lazy on a defensive end just through excitement with that jam and he'll kick it back outside he intercepts it tries for two the layup is good that's a 7-0 run. Stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? For the bucket. And he missed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steals the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. That's a 13 zip run. around the perimeter. He goes for the trifecta. That's good. Jumps into the defender. Got it. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
Basket falls despite the contact. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Steals a pass. Gave it up. Looking for the foul. Easy one. The Orange are ahead by 25. For the deuce. Doesn't go. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Oh, oh Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. A chance for two. Routine. Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Second one is good. The Orange are up by 27. Working it around the perimeter. He lets it fly. Makes the shot. Entry pass in the paint. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. He's got an open look for the shot. Here's a flash from the post up high. Goes up for two. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And he scores despite the hack. Takes away the pass. Working around the perimeter. Takes the shot out of the air. It's good. Picks off the lazy pass. And a shot block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes for the ball handler. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. Dump it inside. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Down of the air. He shoots from left of the circle. That's good. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They're going to need a miracle to get a victory in this one now. 
Can you imagine? I was a bad teacher. Time to watch this game tape, baby, to see where you went wrong. They work the perimeter. In the paint. There he is, strips the ball loose. They work it around the perimeter. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Oh, yes. Now they work it around the perimeter on the outside. The fake. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. They'll work it around the arc. There's a double team waiting there. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He looks for the bomb. He gets the bucket to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dude. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Got an open look if he wants it. He shoots from the low post. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Here's a double team. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He puts up the tray. He buries the shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle they work. Gets the rejection. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. spirit jumped in front to take it away turn around jumper nothing but nylon nice smooth turn around jumper the only negative he's falling away if he misses he's got no rebound in the building Controlling the ball. Fires away. Buried it. Shot clock is dead. Too much. That's a foul. 
There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Dick, they got to find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. Uh, that has me shocked, too, but they really executed so well. The underdog really did all the things. The coaches talk about a coaching clinics. They talk about really a stop to the basketball, getting back defensively, stopping transition layups, blocking out. They did all the essentials that lead to win. Marquette gets dominated. It seems they came in overconfident and ended up paying a price for it. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.